I'm Anna Gasse, I'm from Austria and I'm a snowboarder. I started pretty late, I was already 18 years old and I feel like I was missing something. I was mis uh, missing a passion and I found it with snowboarding and I just fell in love and had so much fun and since then I never stopped. When I'm snowboarding I feel like I don't think about anything. It, it gives me kind of a sense of freedom and it kind of makes you addicted, like the little adrenaline rush and yeah, also just the feeling you have being out there with your friends in the nature. I feel like I, I'm a pretty, I'm pretty determined athlete, like I I'm not giving up easy, I'm trying over and over again and even if I have crashes I, I feel like I'm trying to get back up and do it again. And yeah, I, I would say that that's maybe something a little special about me. I, I, I would say the best advice is that I got is to just have fun and to believe in myself. I'm feeling pretty good about the upcoming season because first of all I haven't been injured, <laughs> knock on wood of course. Uh, I've been snowboarding a lot like even in the off season in spring and summer and yeah I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm like having a lot of fun and I think that's the key to like success. It's been weird with the pandemic because like I've been traveling way less and that was a big change for me because I've been used to being on the road all the time and with the pandemic I've been home way more but maybe that was also a good thing because I got way more rested and I got to spend a lot of time with my family and friends but on the other hand I feel like mentally it's sometimes hard to get the same motivation and when you know what's happening because Last season, for example, I didn't know what's happening. I didn't know which competition would happen. And also having no, no people there cheering for you also makes it a little different, at, like makes the vibe different at a competition. There are so many things I wished I was really good at. For example, snowmobiling, <laughs> riding the back country. Um, yeah, there are so many things. I, I, I wished I was a little more creative with, with drawing things and like 
maybe playing a musical instrument because there's not a much talent there. <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty good at yoga or like acrobatics, mm -hmm. like that's something I do outside of snowboarding and then I'm really good with chocolates, I know all the best chocolate flavors and stuff, so if you need advice you can come to me. I feel like maybe always having some food in my pockets it makes a huge impact on my performance if I know I am not under sugared.
Um, I think I had a really happy childhood. Um, my parents were great, really supportive. I, I remember having a lot of fun as a kid, being at the lake, playing with friends, of course, doing all kinds of different sports. Being, being from playing tennis to like doing gymnastics, there was going swimming, I did everything. So like hiking, even skiing, I skied for a little bit. So there was everything. <laughs> it's like I've, I see some similarities with my parents. Um, I feel like my mom is the same chaotic than me, maybe also the same emotional that I can be, but she's better at hiding her. Like she's also, like I remember as a kid, she never could find her key or she couldn't find her wallet, but she's better than hiding it than me. So I think that part I have from my, from my mom. But then in some certain ways, I'm like my dad, I feel like I'm, I'm staying more calm and collected in stressful situations, like not in all situations, but when it comes to sport, I can stay pretty focused, collected and more silent, especially when the pressure gets the highest. That's the times I'm the most focused and the most silent. And I can see that in my dad. So like I was at, Actually, it was in summertime or like in, in August sometime and my cousin showed me videos of him doing like powder turns and backflips into the snow and then he showed me some snowboard movies and I really thought it was so cool. I was like, maybe like I could flip in gymnastics, maybe I can do that with a snowboard. And like, like I thought it was so cool that you could be creative about it, that the whole mountain was your playground was it was way harder than it looked in the video but yeah I was I was hooked I, I never did it and I saw a video of it and I was so hooked so it's funny I think if you do a new sport and you never got injured you're not scared I never thought about an injury I never thought about getting hurt and of course there were some bruises but nothing major so in the beginning I was fearless I, I was even yeah Fearless, a little bit crazy. People would call me Miss Catchy, what I found out. Which is, yeah, when I started and I tried all these tricks that were way too hard for my ability, the shapers in the park would call me, call me Miss Catchy because they thought I would die every trick I did. Like the Olympics 2018, they were so stressful to me because I went there as the big favorite in both slope style and big air. And maybe... I learned that you shouldn't read newspapers before going to an event like that. But just like when I like read a little bit, it was like everything, like a headline was everything in gold would be a disappointment. And you read this and you try to not let it go to you, but yeah, like you still like you feel the pressure. And I felt the pressure already when I went on the plane. I was like, I won every like the pressure from outside, but also the pressure from myself because I went there and I knew I won every big air that season. There was not a single big air that season that I didn't win. My goal is to be a well-rounded good snowboarder, that I, I, I've done it all. Like I, I want to be able to do all the competition, which I all, like do good at the competition, like do a lot of new tricks, like progress the sport that way, but also like learn more about the backcountry maybe film a video part and also try to, to experience the street side of things. So I just want to try to do it all, pretty much. Well, the progression is amazing. Like, I never thought it would be this fast and there are so many good riders out there and also so many great tricks that I don't think a lot of people thought women would do. And the triple though is like, it's just, a high risk trick it's like a lot of determination to do that and a chance a big chance of getting injured too i think and also for now you don't need it to win but there are like i'm sure pe people are gonna do it like there's like i'm, I'm thinking a couple years it's gonna be standard 